hello guys in this video i will explain how we can use a try function in python what is the structure structure of this function and what is the main points of this function uh, okay so i think that we can move we can move the uh, the first part of this video it uh, here i can to highlight uh, two uh, uh, i can highlight uh, the that they are uh, two kinds of errors in python uh, the first one is syntax error is also known as parsing errors most basic arise when the python parser is unable to understand the line of a code and exceptions Ex exceptions errors which are detected during executions for example zero division error and uh, here's a list of exceptions errors right here it's uh, eo errors if file can be opened keyboard interrupt when an unrequired key is preset, pressed by the user while error when built in function receives a wrong argument e of error if end of file is hit without reading any data and the last one is import error if it's unable to find the model okay i think we can move on to uh, the, the explanation of the structure of the try function so uh, the first statement is try and try means that we are trying to do something here okay we can just trying to make some procedures or some uh, nested functions inside the, this block uh, okay the next block is accept Except the blocks lets you handle this error. For example, if you anticipate that here is a syntax error or uh, import error, you can uh, make a special scenario of uh, what we will do in this case. For example, we are trying to import uh, some special model, and we if we uh, fail, so we are run accept part. Okay, the next. Uh, statement is else. Else statements is running uh, if try statement finishes without any errors. Else means that uh, if accept model wasn't run. So we go to else. What if no accept? So and the last statement in try function is what we'll do anyway is uh, finally uh, finally block lets you execute code regardless of the result of the try and accept blocks that means that uh, you can run finally block uh, uh, despite the fact that uh, if you have error or you don't have any error uh, the finally uh, block is running anyway always so we can call it like uh, the rest of the code or something so here's the uh, main points of the structure of try function and i think that we can move to the demonstration in python environment uh, to uh, provi provide uh, main points in real uh, environment so let's move on okay in this part we start with a simple variable s uh, let's say s equal to string 5 and okay what we have what we think to do is to define extra variable is h that's equal to s plus 20 and okay let's run this code and we will see what we get and i think you know that we should get an error because s is string and h is integer Okay, so it is error, it's type error, and it's normal because it's integer plus string, it's not work. So for this we define the try function uh, uh, with exception and run it again. Yep. Okay, run it again, then we will get nothing because exception will uh, exception uh, handled an error and output none but we can change it and uh, we can print action is failed run it again 
yes action failed from exception statement so uh, let's change as format from string to integer and uh, with this scenario we shouldn't get any error and we can print uh, h value equal to and we'll get uh, 25 5 plus 20 we'll see yes h equal to 25 uh, okay let's move on uh, come back to string formats for s variable and uh, run it again yes action is filed from exceptions and we know that this is a type error we could specify this is uh, this in exception yes it is a type error run it again uh, the result is the same because it's type error and uh, the next statement uh, what we can add is else uh, else statement is running when the try statement finishes without any errors so if we uh, uh, cause no any errors so we can print action is successful we'll see right here run the code and action is filed because s variable is string so let's change it to integer and we will see changes in the console yes h is 25 and action is successful from else statement because exception didn't run and so uh, we got output from else and finally uh, finally block lets you execute code regardless of the result of the try and exit block so this block doesn't care about you got error or not so the rest of the application is going on is going on we can write it pass uh, uh, keyword in python and uh, okay rest of the application is running on yep let's run this code okay clear screen and okay h is 25 action is successful the rest of the application is going on and that's working fine okay uh, let's come back to string for s variable and what the difference will be and the only difference is from exception that action is filed but the rest of the application is going on so the try function lets you avoid uh, uh, stops while you run uh, your application if any errors is uh, uh, raised and uh, lets you debug your uh, application more easily uh, with uh, uh, our tools in Python. So I hope that this video was useful for you and see you on the next ones.